Welcome back to another video guys. In this one, we'll just be checking out the blood oxygen sensor on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Compare it to um, this pulse oximeter here. We'll just see how close the readings are between the two of them. Alright, let's start the reading. So obviously you go across, you can swipe across, or you can use the bezel. So we'll measure this, and we'll use the meter here. And we've got to stay really still. Right, the meter's done it already. Alright, this is 86. This is 99. The heart rate is roughly the same. So what we'll do, we'll move it up again. I'll just press it. We'll move it right up above the wrist bone, they say. So we'll go across and we'll do it again. And you'll we'll try and stay really still. And it also says bend it. Put your arm on the table and bend it at an angle. But um, we'll see. This is, this is 88, this is 98, so it's still a bit off, let's try it one more time. Alright, keep saying 88, that's what's picking up, don't know why. It's still low, so obviously it's not reading right. Right, we're trying a different angle. Do what they say, put my elbow on the ledge, like an edge. At a right angle. Well, not a right angle, but it's at an angle. And we'll measure now, see if it makes any difference. That's better now. But 94, 97, 76 heart rate. Heart rate's perfect, exactly the same, but just a bit off on blood oxygen. So it's a bit fiddly. As you can see, I've done it multiple times just to get a reading that's close enough. Before it was 10 off. I mean, I didn't have a problem with the OnePlus watch. OnePlus watch does it straight away. No issues, and it comes up. And they're not the same. So maybe with an update, they might fix this. So obviously, because all the units ain't rolled out yet, maybe by Friday they'll do an update. But that's the Blood Oxygen Center on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.